Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up reference images in 3ds Max. So you end up with something like this. You can freeze them and you can start modeling, right? So the way to set this up is you start with a plane, a standard primitives plane, you press T to make an ordinary plane. Doesn't matter the size, we're gonna make that better. Uh, you want to go press M and go to the material editor, make a material, scan line, and a standard, double click, go to maps, diffuse color, bitmap, and you place your blueprint, you Put the show shaded material in viewport and assign the material to the selection. Now you can see that it's quite blurry. Uh, the way to change that is go to here standard materials, realistic materials with maps. And there you go. All right. Um, now we need to go to the modifier list. Press UVW, UVW map. You select that and you press here bitmap fit and it's being scaled. So you can see that my plane is not that big. So we're going to change that by going to the modifier list, editable poly and select the vertices. <clears throat> now, if you start moving these vertices, it's going to stretch, All right? You don't want that. So you have to go here to edit geometry and preserve UVs. Now you can move them around without destroying your model. So you're just gonna move it into place how you want it to be. Um, Deselect. Uh, you see that your, um, how's it called? Uh, the pivot is in the middle go to effect pivot only center to object and it's in the center of your objects now you go down here to the coordinates press zero 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 to center it to your viewport pz it's a combination i often use p to go to perspective and z is to go back to your model and now you press e you turn it 90 degrees, press F to go to the front view, move it up a little bit, um, just see a little bit uh, back, okay, and you press E for the rotation and you press shift while you click and you go another 90 degrees to make a copy and you press OK, press W to move and doesn't really matter where you put it because now you're going to go back to the modifier edit the poly vertices press l to go to the uh, left view you can see here left view uh, press g to hide the grid select the vertices and just drag them until it comes up to your side view same thing again pivot is here hierarchy effect pivot only center to object so you can move it around without destroying your model pz uh, e you press shift and you clone it to a copy press w to move it t to go to the top view like i said you can you can um, pause this video if you want to I actually didn't say that, but you can pause this video if I go too fast. Okay. Um, go to vertices, select it, and I kind of know that it's here. <laughs> so you just move it into place. Same thing here, pivot, effect pivot only, center to object. Move it, um, press T and F and I go PZ so I can 
I usually just align it on the eye because there's such a slight difference. Um, on the left side, however, I want to look in the back. You can see that this back is quite far out. So if you want to be really precise, you do it like this. And I think that's about right. And there you have it. Um, the other thing is, if you want to sh to freeze these, you select them, right mouse button, object properties, show frozen gray has to be out, deselected. Now you can select a free selection. And there you go. Now you can start modeling. Um, thank you very much for watching this very quick tutorial on how to set up the reference images. If you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.